Hi guys, how are you today? I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. For those of you who are new, my name is Eva. And for those of you who are coming back, as always, thank you so much for coming back. Welcome to another MLM shit show. Take a look at the graph. If you've been enjoying my content for a while, I would really appreciate if you could click that like and subscribe button. It would really help me out a lot. Today we are back to another top MLM fails. And this is actually the 41st episode. All of the fails that we're gonna go through today are from Zaya Reps, and you may know if you've been following me for a while, I do like to cover my Zaya stuff because I think they are really, really problematic. And I personally have had issues with them in the past. I've had some drama. They were trying to get my videos down on Zaya. They were reporting me on both Instagram, YouTube as well. There's a certain blondie in the upline. She's top 1% who always sends her downline to report me or I probably anyone who speaks out about Zaya or maybe just me because I'm a smaller channel. I was way smaller back then when she attacked me the first time and it was quite intimidating I have to say but here we are today we're just fighting them off um, there's currently a whole Zaya playlist that I'm going to link over here Oops, up there my hair is still pretty dark I'm trying to wash it as often as I can not every day every second day yeah I don't know why these colors always turn out so dark this is almost black and it's supposed to be light brown, like the brown that I had uh, before I dyed my hair. <laughs> so let's just put a little disclaimer in here and let's get into the video. A disclaimers. All right, so the first one is a reel. Get you out of your comfort zone. Why would we want to do that? It's called the comfort zone for a reason. <laughs> so she says, answer me this. Why are we so comfortable sharing our favorite kicks, our favorite pair of denim, where we get our haircut, but are so afraid to monetize that recommendation in the form of a sale? Because we're afraid of what someone we went to school with 25 years ago may think. Afraid that we are gasp, selling something we love. Afraid that we may become one of those people that your second cousin who you haven't seen in decades talk down on. I, I read gas, but I guess I was supposed to be like, <gasps> selling something? <laughs> Why on earth is that a problem? Why would we even choose to make that into an issue? I am a proud social seller. I turn my business as an activewear rep into income for my family. You can too income claim. You're already sharing what you love with all of your girlfriends every damn day. This truly is no different. Um, yeah, it is kind of different because you're kind of buying a lot of Zaya stuff, investing more and more money into it, especially with the fact that they have new drops every Wednesday or something. It's definitely once per week. So you keep buying and buying, which is investing and investing and you're not getting any money back. Rather than if you go to like ASOS or something and you buy something occasionally and then you tell your friend hey this is a really great dress but you're not losing anything with it you're not going to buy more ASOS just so that you can talk to your friends about ASOS you know what I mean does that make sense sometimes I don't even know what I'm saying <laughs> but of course again um, I always say that we shouldn't be afraid of what other people are going to think about us this is something that I've struggled with a lot in the past I've only learned to overcome this last year when I started my YouTube channel it kind of started a little bit before. I've done some preparations, some things like being a little bit more active on my social media, trying to break this iceberg. Iceberg? Or just ice. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to put myself out there, but I was afraid of what people back home are gonna think. Stuff like that, which is really, you really shouldn't care what other people are gonna think about you. But um, like I always say, since this is about an MLM, she's not trying to tell you that. Um, she's just trying to get you to sell and slash recruit more people because the more you do, the more money she gets as well. That's my own personal opinion about why they're doing this, why they're trying to motivate people. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. It's another reel from the same person. So this one says, you may be curious, can I do this as a busy mom? Can I do this alongside my career? Can I do this without a big social media presence? And then she says, yeah. Can I do this without a bunch of inventory? Caption says, I know what you're thinking. I actually do because I had the same thoughts too. Blair, I don't know. I love Zaya, but I already work a crazy job and the kids keep me super busy with sports and I don't have a huge social media following and I 
don't want to make reels and I don't know about selling. I guess I don't know anything about selling. Sounds familiar. I got you, girl. <laughs> Stop by our team's Discover Zaya. Call next week. I'm walking you through all of this. You can do it and have fun while you're doing it. You don't even have to make a reel, I promise. Hmm. And I show you how to thread our brand into your day-to-day -day in an organic way. I don't even know if this sentence makes any sense. But then I say that a lot and then I'm, when I'm editing, I'm like, yeah, it does make sense. You're just being a dumbass. <laughs> how we show up and serve together as a team, current trends in the social selling industry and how Zaya could be a great fit for you too. So she's kind of implying that... Um, yeah, if however busy you are, it doesn't matter. It's so easy to fit this into your everyday life. I'm gonna show you how. But obviously, if you've been watching a little bit of anti-MLM content for a while now, we know that this is not the truth. It's actually very consuming. I mean, first of all, they have all of those trainings, all of those team calls and stuff like that. And that's probably lasting at least like one hour. I don't know if they are a daily occurrence, but it's probably every few days because you know that upline needs to keep their downline more motivated and what's the best way to keep them motivated and just hang above them all the time and remind them why they need to work and how much they need to work per day. I said this a lot of the times before. I really dislike how they try to make this look as, oh, it's so, so simple. You can fit it into the pockets of your time. Even if you're just going to cold message some people on social media, you still have to dig out their profiles. You have to copy and paste the same message. If you're liking posts, commenting so that they notice you, this all takes time and it's not just as easy to be like, well, sit for five minutes on your phone and that's it. It's like it takes you a few minutes to actually start doing the thing. So it's a lot more complicated and it's a lot more time consuming than they make it seem like on social media. And again, like, don't worry, you have kids, your kids keep you busy. Don't worry, don't worry, you, you can totally do this business on the side and low-key neglect your kids, I guess. They would probably say, well, you need to go to watch your kids play sport, but you can do this while you're watching your kids play sport and then you just end up being on your phone and not actually watching your kids play sport. That's just my opinion on that anyway. Let's move on to the next one. This one says, can you feel the shift? I can. Our expectations of work are changing. There is a higher demand for supplemental income streams, an increased desire for flexible hours and the need for personal connection. Even if virtually, social selling has experienced phenomenal growth in recent years, especially as consumers gravitate towards shopping in their seats instead of their feet. Proving agility in an ever-changing economy, e-commerce platforms are the way to go. Social selling is just a form of e-commerce that easily translates to monetizing on a digital platform. I mean, think about this. Literally every day I get asked about my clothes, just like we ask each other about our favorite shoes, our must-read books, the restaurant with the best atmosphere or menu. How that translates for me is now I get to turn that ask into real money. I simply put up the link to my shop, text it to my girlfriend, and she buys my top. Then I make a commission from her purchase. This way of selling and shopping has real staying power alongside have flexibility in hours and work schedule. It might be worth for you exploring more. So again, this is very similar to the very first post. It's like, oh, you talk about something, you recommend something to someone and you're not getting paid? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a good way that you're able to monetize on social media now and that you can get ambassadorships, affiliate links, stuff like that, that you can earn some commission off. But it doesn't have to be that every single thing you mention on social media is an advertisement for you to get some commission off of it. Are you not still allowed to share the things that you love if you're not promoted by the company? They kind of make it seem like, oh, what are you doing? You're recommending stuff, you're not getting paid for it. Just buy from a brand that's gonna pay you for advertisement. Which is kind of a weird way to look at it for me. I just, not everything has to be monetized. You don't have to get paid to share something that you love. Like I said, it's a good thing, but it doesn't have to be every single product or clothing, a piece of clothing that you have. It's a bit weird to me, I don't know. Next one says, we don't blame the fridge for what we put in it. <laughs> 
If you need a little Sunday night motivation, we don't blame the fridge for what we put in it. So we also can't blame the influencers that we allow in. You get to be the hero of your story, the pen to your paper. You get to choose how you show up, with what energy, with what consistency, with what inner talk. You decide what stories you choose to believe and continue telling yourself, not seeing the results you want. You can't blame the fridge, my friend. I know I've tried. You have to build the belief in yourself that you are responsible for your results. So are you ready to break up with your stories? With your inner critic, let's start stocking that fridge with positivity, with hard work, with discipline, with bravery. These are the focuses I give you as your mentor, helping you get from the gap to the gain, building belief in yourself as a business owner, as a CEO. Um, um, No, you're not a CEO and you're not a business owner. If you join a multi-level marketing scheme, you are just an independent contractor for that company. You're not actually a business owner. I mean, this is crazy that they keep saying this. You can be terminated at any point as well. So if you can be fired, you're not a business owner. You're definitely not a fucking CEO. It's never been just about the leggings. Those leggings can be your vehicle for change. And I have the keys ready to hand over. All you have to do is say yes. Wow, man, uh, that's just, that's just messed up. I'm not even gonna say anything. Let's just move on. So this one is from a TP top rep who is doing well in Zaya company. And this was actually sent to me by one of your girls. Thank you so much for sending all the tea about Zaya lately. And so she's says, these images are proof that she joined in Zaya very early, the very first month, yet she claims that anyone can join and be successful. I was in it for almost two years and I got nowhere with it and not for my lack of trying. My god, my nose is very itchy today. (laughs) Okay, so she's kind of like skipping hopping around and then the caption says it's my Zaya five-year anniversary what started five years ago has evolved into something that changed my life and thousands of others in every way possible I was immediately obsessed with the bomber bra like crazy obsessed it was a great price point fit amazing and was lined I wanted it on every woman in America because it was so perfect okay Okay, I became more and more obsessed as Zaya kept releasing new items every single Wednesday that made me feel and look amazing in the clothes. But I was hardly an influencer. I was a stay-at-home mom turned hopeful micro-influencer as evidenced by the fact that I struggled to take pictures of myself. This is still up for debate that my photo skills have improved. What I can say is that I've quickly gotten over the fact that I thought I had to look like a fitness model to share pictures of myself in the clothes. This is me. I have found my voice in a way I didn't realize I needed to. My confidence has grown by leaps and bounds because of amazing activewear that tells me, girl, it's okay you don't look like a fitness model, we are going to make you look like one anyway. Can I tell you, as someone who has had the ups and downs of body image and my relationship with food, it's so nice to finally feel comfortable in my clothes and my skin. That I didn't have to change anything physical about myself to work this business and opportunity and neither did the people who wanted to partner with me. Whether you purchased Zach to eat potato chips on the couch or to do a Spartan race, girl or dude, I got you. Anyone can join today and achieve whatever you want with Zaya. You just have to believe in you. So the question is, do you believe enough in yourself to do this? Even if it's a maybe, link arms with Zaya and myself and let's do this together. I'm obsessed with helping people achieve and conquer their fears. If you watched me and wondered how I could do this, stop wondering. Give me one full year of your full effort and let Let's change your future. So these are some serious promises here. But yeah, so she celebrated her five-year anniversary recently. Zaya is five years old. So yeah, I mean, is there anything else to say? She literally joined at the very beginning and that's how she's on top today. She's, I think, top 1%. Yeah, she said tippy top rep. So she's still doing well and yeah. Like we always say, you either have to join really, really early or you already have to have a big following in order to succeed in an MLM. Again, some things here I do agree with. You don't have to look a certain way to post on Instagram or to wear like sports bras and gym wear and stuff. But when it comes around to this being a MLM, I don't think that they are saying these things to actually make people feel better, to empower other women. I personally think that they're just saying 
saying this because they want to recruit more and more people because it brings them more money. So anyway, let's move on. This one says, if you're looking for that hype girl, I got you covered. I'm here to cheer you on every step of the way. If you're looking for that fun, energetic, hot mess of a mama type vibe, I'm your girl. I'll be with you every step of the way, pushing you to shatter those ceilings. I'll be here pushing you to raise the bar for yourself when it comes to your health. You guys are my motivation and I'm here to be yours. We can sweat it out together, scream together, trip over our weights together, lol. If you're looking for that hype, I got you covered. Life is tough enough, we need to make things fun and enjoyable. And although you may be cursing my name after a workout, I promise you'll never feel stronger. This was a little bit of a hype up, I think, for those workout sessions that they had uh, throughout January and February. I spoke about them in one of my previous videos or maybe even multiple previous videos. So check out that Zaya playlist if you want to know more about that. Um, so next one says, if someone is judging you, that's their problem. Don't make it yours. First of all, I love her tattoos. They're so pretty. Oh my god. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I'm here to support you. I'm your hype girl, whatever. But um, like I just said, I feel like personally, in my own opinion, that they're only doing this to recruit, sell. Not because they actually care about these women um, in their downline. Like I said, again, that's just my impressions that I get from all of this. Um, but yeah, you can let me know down below what do you think. Is there some genuine intentions there or is it purely just because of that? money money next one is another real it says people are quitting my team then she opens up the laptop what you need is an onboarding process steal mine so her caption says how i mastered the art of team duplication duplication First, I created an onboarding process for new people to join my team. A good onboarding process needs to show a new recruit exactly what actions they can take to get leads. Leads are going to be what gets them into profit fast. Here's an example. Day one, create curiosity about something new you're doing by posting a teaser on social media. Day two, do a live video sharing your new partnership and your story. Day three, tell your story again in a written post. Day four, share your new routine with the business products in your stories. Four days of intentional posts and watch your new recruits DM explode with questions. Second, make that process easily accessible inside a private Facebook group by using guides. Tag your new recruits in day one of the onboarding process. Three, don't take it personally or beat yourself up when someone quits your team. It's your responsibility to give them the tools that they need to get started. It's their responsibility to take action. Do you have an onboarding process for your team? So this is kind of like we can see how strategic some of them do like it's like marketing something I guess I mean it technically is marketing something and it's really well thought out and she has all the steps that she does and she probably shares even more details on like her actual onboarding calls training calls with her team so when I see stuff like that I realize like okay this is not just them usually a lot of them are just posting whatever banging their head off the wall but some of these people out there exactly know what they're doing they're aware of what they're doing and they are actively coming up with these tactics in my opinion manipulation tactics on how to get more people to join your team because you're gonna get more benefits yeah i mean i get it like marketing is always kind of that you're trying to get people interested and to buy from you but Again, since this is literally an MLM where you're recruiting people into a pyramid scheme, in my own opinion, that is when it becomes really problematic. But anyway, next one. Wow! So you telling me that bitch is worth it? So I guess she's choosing leggings over jeans, which is fine. You know, I live in leggings and sweatpants and there's nothing wrong with that. I like the jeans that have like 3%, 3 to 5% elastine, but for whatever reason, it's really hard to find really stretchy jeans. I really don't like those that you can wear them like a few times and then they're just, you wash them two times and then they shrink and then you can't get your ass into them anymore. So I've paid so much money for jeans over the years and 
again i wear them a few times i wash them a few times i wash them on the lowest they still shrink and then after a few times i can't wear them anymore and it's just a waste of money i just bought some pair of jeans recently they're ripped they're really nice and the description didn't share the fabric but it said our signature four-way stretch jeans whatever and i was like oh that has to be at least two or three percent elastine right one would think so yeah but no it's literally 99 percent cotton and only one percent i could barely put them on and the zip is probably gonna crack one day when i'm putting them on so that's great another 60 euro down the drain for jeans but yeah if you know any brands that has really nice stretchy like properly stretchy jeans like i said three to five percent elastine please let me know down below but anyway i guess if this tells us anything it's just the fact that they do have a lot of inventory which is something that they say uh there's you don't have to buy if you don't want to you don't need to have inventory but when they have drops every single wednesday of course people are gonna want to buy new stuff so that they can follow the trends and keep promoting their new stuff right so there is inventory clearly next one is another reel Using baby voiceovers to be kind of like sassy never sat right with me. But anyway, so I guess it says, oh, you don't like me. I don't care. And then the caption says, you can't be good enough for everybody. And again, that's true. But I wouldn't say that if you're an MLM person, I would not say that people don't like you. Usually they probably think that you're vulnerable and they're probably trying to help you in whatever way. Sometimes people do stupid things or they say stupid things thinking that they're helping but they're actually just pushing the person even further down it's really sad that all of the reps well most of the reps in mlms are usually just trained to think if someone doesn't support you that just means that they don't like you and they're jealous of your success they're jealous of this and that when in most cases it's actually just people who care about you and who don't want to see you lose so much money with an mlm company but yeah this is what we get at the end like oh you don't like me i don't care and kind of sad the next two posts are from uh, my very favorite zaya top one percent rep who may have reported me and sent her downline after me multiple times in the past so she is still uh, to this day she is still targeting aussies a lot like every second and third post on her instagram is gonna be about australian girls and she's trying to get them to join her team i said this before like she's top one percent she she has so many people in her downline and Zaya went to Australia recently. Can you not just let at least Australian girls recruit other Australian girls? Why do you have to go so hard after Australian girls as well? Leave some for the rest of the poor people at the bottom who don't earn any money. Oh, but anyway, this one says, where are all my Aussie activewear loving ladies at? Do you love being active and wearing cute clothes? Does starting an activewear business as a founder leader in your country sound incredible to you and this is a new keyword that they use founding leader you're not starting a business you are joining Zaya as a network marketing coach okay let's just put that out there this is crazy how can they just make up stuff like that and get away with it it's just beyond crazy to me. Zaya has just landed in your country and I'm looking for ladies who want a spot as a ground level rep who will help continue the Zaya launch down under. And can I just say this opportunity is one of a kind. Being a founding leader, again you're not a founding leader, means you have the opportunity to be very successful straight out of the gate. Well yeah I guess if it's new in Australia then you may have some opportunity to do well and to recruit a lot of people. It still doesn't make it right and you still shouldn't do it because all of the people underneath you are going to be losing money so it's quite unethical you'll be the first to get the word out on this new brand and the possibilities will be endless for you and your team if this sounds even a little exciting to you comment below with your favorite aussie inspired emoji and i'll send you some no pressure information come be besties with us american girls we cannot wait to meet you and have you on our team yeah of course they can't because they're going to earn a lot of money 
many of the Australian girls. The next post is also the last post and it's also her and she's sitting in what looks like a weirdly looking first class. I mean I've never sat on first class. Is this what first class looks like? So it says that time I flew first class to my leadership retreat. Just over here giddy with excitement because my company just announced that our top leaders will be traveling to Costa Rica next year. I've already qualified and will also have my airfare paid for as well. My job now is to help as many of my teammates to qualify as possible. If you're a hard worker, want to take on a challenge and you're ready to change your life, this could be for you. Let's chat. Our team is having a look inside the business call this week on Thursday. Comment below me if you'd like to join in and learn more about selling activewear from home. So I haven't seen this in a while. I guess there was no, there wasn't a lot of trips going on due to COVID and stuff. This woman joined Zaya in the beginning as well. She joined very, very early and this is why she's on top, just like the other girl that we spoke about um, earlier in this video. So this is another proof, just she joined early enough to recruit a lot of people into her team and she's very successful. It's her fourth or fifth year. I think it's her fifth year as well in Zaya. So it's the same thing and we see a pattern here. All the top, well, most of the top coaches, top 1% representatives, not coaches, joined in very early. So if that doesn't tell us anything, I don't know what does. But yeah, clearly she's using the fancy luxurious trip that she's getting as top 1%. A classic, just look at me, I'm flying first class and my company's paying for it, join me. You know, you can do this too. But like she qualified in advance because she has a giant team underneath her. And I wonder how many people from her team are going to qualify as well. Which is really sad when you think about it, but... I really don't like this. It's pissing me off. But anyway, that is all I had for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you to all of you nice people who are supporting me. If you're not coming from my social media, but if you want to check me out, I'm going to link my Instagram down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.